Hey everyone, Nick Ellison again from nickellison.net. Today I created a quick tutorial for you to show you how to sniper target your Facebook status updates and make sure they reach the right people that they're intended for. So keep watching the video, here we go. Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna show you exactly how to target your Facebook posts um, by geographical location and, and by language as well. But for this specific um, task, what I want to do is target my event at people in my, in my local area. So basically I'm running a course um, which is for eight people and there's only three places left on it. And I don't want to bother people who've liked my page that, that aren't going to come to it. It's, it's a waste of their time and mine. So I don't, want to, I don't want people in the States to see my status update. I don't even want people in London and Manchester and Scotland to see my status update because it's unlikely they're going to travel all the way down to Torquay, which is in the southwest of England, to come to a, a, a course. So I'm going to find out, first of all, I'm going to find out where my fans are, and then I'm going to write a status update, and I'm going to post it so only they see it and nobody else gets bothered with it. So here's how you do that. As you'll see, I'm on my Facebook page. I'm logged in as my Facebook page. Click on Show, and we'll have a look at the insights. Click your insights there. As you can see, this is a brand new page. It's just getting going. So we've only saw so what we are on the 18th now. We've got just over, well, it's a couple of weeks. It's been running. Um, but still, we've got stats. As soon as you go over 30 people on your fan page, you can start getting stats. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on likes. And this is all the details about the people who have liked my page. So I can see there's 150 people, 115 people in the United Kingdom. But we can narrow that down, towns and cities. So there is no point in me targeting these 22 people in London, I don't think. I've only got three tickets to sell, and I really don't think they're going to travel all the way from London. It's going to cost them as much in petrol as it is to, to come to the course. But this is my town. There's 11 people there that have shown an interest in social media on my page, and they live locally. Now, there's four in Plymouth. That's within 45 minutes away. Three in Newton Abbott. That's not too far away. Two in Exeter. That's just half an hour away up the road, and so on. So that's how you find out who to target, and and then you go back and you write a status update and just target those people. So you're not bothering the others, and it's much more focused. So let's do that. I'm going to go back to the page to try and remember where all those people are from now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to update my status. I've already copied and pasted the status to save some time that I want and the link to where I want people to go. But as I always say, if you want to get people, more people to see the post, imagery is always a good thing. So I've already prepared an image, and before you put an external link in your post, upload the image first. And you'll see what I mean when I do it. So I'm gonna upload the photo. And this is the one that I just created. I took a couple of minutes just to quickly put that together. And now I'm gonna copy in my status that has the URL to the page where they can find all the details about the course. Now, if I'd have done that first, Facebook automatically pulls in the content from that page and the picture to go with it, so I wouldn't have been able to upload a picture first. So just remember that when you're, when you're posting images and links that you want people to click on to leave Facebook. And the key here is public section, just down the bottom. I'm going to use that drop-down bottom, that drop-down button, and we're going to hit target by location or language. So this is where we really start to fine-tune it. So country, I'm going to go, obviously, United Kingdom. Now, you could, if, it, if that was good enough for your targets and you just wanted to go to the UK, it was something else, it was a UK-wide event, maybe you would just use that. But I need to really, really fine-tune this. State or province in this situation isn't going to help. That's literally going to give me uh, England, Scotland, for instance, yeah, and Wales. But it's not going to give me where I live, in Devon or in Torquay. So we have to really... Narrow that down by going city. And what we can do is where I live is Torquay. That's the one. I'm hitting the tab. Or I can click in here. And the next town along is Paynton. And Newton Abbott that we saw. I had three fans in Newton Abbott. So, uh, you know, go and have a look at your insights and write them down. Write down who you want to target. Or literally this is, we're talking about, a, a, I think about a 10 mile radius I'm, I'm doing here at the minute. So I'm going to expand it a little bit further and go out to the next city, which is Exeter. And Plymouth is on the other end. 
So we spread about an hour's drive away. And what else have we got? I think I saw Timmouth in there somewhere, actually. So I've hit Torquay Painter, Newton Abbott. Oh, I haven't done Brixham. It's just down the road. Brixham. So we've targeted all those towns. So anybody that's liked my page uh, that is from them towns is more likely to see this post. And language, obviously, we're going to go English. There's various different options, but just select the horse, just because some people have their own, even upside down and pirate, just select all, uh, and then you're not missing out on anybody. And click OK. And then you've targeted, see how it's changed to custom, rather than just public, it was before. And then when we hit the post, there's the post, and... We've got this great big image, so it's much more eye-catching. It's not the best quality, but it's the much more eye-catching. And only three places left on a Facebook Masterclass course, 2nd of August, Torquay, Devon. So only the local people are going to see that. There's no point me posting that to everybody in the States. So uh, when they click through, they get to go through to the course and see all the course details. This is Socialized Media. This is the social media agency that I run. And we do in-house training, one-on-one -on -one training, in-house training. So there we go. So that's how you target people within a geographical location and the language. If, if you're dealing with multiple languages, if you're dealing with Facebook pages or in a, in a different language or different fans speak a different language, you can target that also if, if you specifically wanted to do that. If you had an event going on that was going to be in Spain, you could target people who only speak Spanish and in that area. So, And another reason why to use the image, uh, this image is square. Um, I've uploaded that 343 pixels square, so 343 by 343, um, but it works perfectly on the phone as well. You see, a lot, a lot of your fans are going to be using, going to be um, seeing your posts via their mobiles, and that's really going to catch their eye more than just a status update as well. So there we go. That's how you target your Facebook posts by geographical location, uh, just to fine tune the people that are going to see it and you're not bothering other people that it has is of no interest to. So thanks for watching. It's Nick Ellison from nickellison.net.